Christmas. Hey, big up Frosty, big up Frosty one time. I don't know if you I don't need to be a sports a, a sports fan, but you're on your live, so big up yourself one time, Foster. Um Sorry for the late start, people. It's been a long day. I literally not to run, but I rushed straight home. Um, my daughter started back gymnastics. Um, <laughs> my daughter started back gymnastics training today. Well, this week, so I had to go training and then come home. So I don't know. I will see how we go in the next couple of weeks, but um, I know I might have to push back the time to nine o'clock. So I go, you know, enough time to prepare and, and whatever. Um, I go <laughs> tell snitches, but you know, you know, we don't deal with that boy. You know what I mean? You from the hood boy, foster boy, snitching. Nah, boy, you mad or telling somebody? Ah, uh, now we come down. The live is to talk about sports boys, foster boy. Uh, this is this is is good and shit, but good and shit presents the Caribbean fans, then. So you can talk about the latest in sports in the last week. So if you have a team you don't like, feel free to tap in or to hit up any comments and I will share your comments. Feel free to tap in at any time people. This is not um my show, this is we show. Big up Kitty one time, big up Adam, big up Janos. Um so before we get into it, you know, we just do it. Uh, if you're new to the page, if you're new to the live, if you're new to the, you know, to the content of Wood on the Street and the Caribbean fan stand, go, well, not now, but after the live now, boy, go and follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. Last week, last week we do a live, I did a live. Um, I, 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 across, across, you know, followers to, to go live on TikTok. So I tried the live on TikTok, but, um, I was unable to upload the video because it's in process. I don't know what's going on with the internet or whatever. So the whole video didn't process. If I ever get to retrieve that video, I'll go post it up. So I'll go see what we talked about last week. Um, big up versatile one time. Versatile, you ain't touching my bits and them. All right. Cool. No scene. No sin, don't say next time. I never send you no bits there. Eh? Obey got versatile in the live one time. Up the chest. Could you mind know what's going on with you right now? Well, I know what's going on there, but boy, I ain't no boy. We just had a. Um, we just had. <laughs> we just had a holy shit. You never had a holy shit. You never had a holy boy. Keep the blue flag flying high, boy. Um, yeah, so go follow us on Instagram. Go follow us on TikTok. Check out the content on both platforms also. Subscribe to the YouTube page, we're on the street. We have um, season two, episode one dropped yesterday. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. Um, we also on Spotify and all other major streaming platforms. Um, yeah, so you can go and check out the Will on the Street podcast is back. We'll have some big interviews for you coming up in this season as well and all the talking points. So feel free to send the topics that you always to talk about and we will get the word out right so all the house cleaning done i believe so let me get into the fan stand big up name my mommy number one number one live supporter i know she's coming here looking for back but it doesn't be back all the time on a monday name my mommy is sports video limited so i ain't telling you to go anyway but feel free to jump in this was it mondays is not for General box, it's for sports box. Um, I should say back and I'll call back smite. Hey, that's not something good. Um, yeah, boy, kidding, boy, 4231. Well, I think that's the plan, you know, plan, you know, but I don't know, boy. I, um, I think he's trying to compensate, like, he need Tiago Silva experience. This Chelsea we're talking about the people. He need Tiago, ex Tiago Silva experience in the defense, but. He trying to get cover for him in case anybody try to play any balls in behind. Um, and then because he probably because then Kunku out, he probably trying to compensate for that ten by you know getting people who could do multiple things. But yeah, that's how the if if it is 
we well clearly that is the plan investing in youth let the youth and them fail yeah the car the car get better if they do get growing pains and i think us chelsea fans some more than others with one or two signs with the Nkunkus and the um and the Kai say those we get wild and feel like you know we in Sunday gonna win the league like yo that's not that not realistic. We miles are behind Man City, so it's not realistic that we're gonna make that big jump just so when 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 City you know, can I don't want to fall off anytime soon. Arsenal are ahead of us right now. You know what that teams are ahead of us, so that was kinda naive. So we had to improve on last year as yes, that is a given, but we had to be a little more realistic. So, top four will be a great achievement. I mean, going into the start of the season, when you see the season develop, you know, expectations might change. But going into the season, I think we we was gassing up yourself a little bit too much. Um, yeah, boy. So, what are we talking about this week? So, um, for those who are following the FIBA, the FIBA basketball tournament, like I'm like um, basically the, the basketball World Cup in a sense. Uh, America come, came out with no medals, boy. <laughs> they didn't even get a third place. And I vexed with it. I vexed with it with the, with the, with the third place because they lost to, to Dylan Brooks and Killer Israel speak, boy. And I think he scored 39 points in the game, but as and, uh, and, and I think that was poor by America, boy. Yeah, boy, I'm um, cash, boy. Top six for me. Yeah. A Europa League. And if you got a Europa League, given the season that we had, and given the, the the big investment, we we we, we in, in the in the youth with no experience and mix it up and, and no transition. It's just like all the experienced players going outside of Thiago Silva basically. Yeah, then top six are Europa League and then top five might get Champions League next year. Cause you know it's not a group stage next year is, is um like a big is a Champions League gonna be like a start of like a big league now, but yeah, they're gonna have a big league set up first and then they're going to the knockout. Um, Fireborn, Fireborn America. <laughs> Not in basketball, but in general, yeah, but I love, you know, that uh, ENB is, is the most followed basketball, so that's the most players we know, so yeah, but yeah, so America got no medals, they came fourth. Um, I guess now I'm going to go back to them football talk, them football comments. Yeah, so America came fourth, they lost uh, Germany. Who were the eventual winners in the semi-finals? I think they lost by one point. They make a big comeback in the in the four, in the fourth quarter, but they still lost by a point or a basket. And then Germany beat Serbia in the finals. Yeah, um, Shooter for last play with the Lakers. I don't know if you come back with the Lakers next year. I'm a big Lakers fan. He won player the tournament. Um. So yeah. Uh big up Germany. Well. Uh, this in basketball yes yeah, so america no medals so you know it's a fiasco for america they ain't got no medals in basketball there's a certain sports of america don't get a medal is no don't be surprised if they ain't freaking bomb up canada we eh? I mean then to the canada is yeah we, we, we cash we, we trump did call the we trump did call the canadians i'm gonna white mexicans or something kind of so so um yeah boy so that is it with the basketball. So the, I think look well, that loss gonna make America come out even harder for the um for the Olympics next year. Though I think LeBron and Steph Curry, all of them monsters will come out because they didn't like that one. But they have a bad, they have a bad record in the um in the in the in the in the, the FIBA 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 basketball tournament though. They don't know, they don't normally do well because I don't think they take it as serious as the Olympics. But yeah, um. Yeah, so um, could even say fourth or fifth place on our league cup. Yeah, although we shake, we look shaky the league cup when we opening game, yeah, but yeah, I uh, I uh, uh, Europa League and a and a and a um Europa and a and a and a and a, and a domestic cup. I would take that, uh, and that would be a good a good season. If we get Champions League, that'd be a great season. Um. CPL, I go into the we see we're going to CPL. Hey, you fucking fiddle, you Yanos, you stinking bitch. We, we might take some for the weekend, boy. Af, 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 ah, ah, 
I fog I with you that um I give up my tickets uh, for the guy and I game saying I call you know daddy duties are what we can and never get no tickets eh? all right um so in the CPL well um Night Riders uh they they had a good home stint I think they won tomorrow you will do that I, <laughs> I think um they lost only the guy and I gave the loss I think they lost the one or the all the other home games right now we currently first on the table but we played three more games and guy and I could they now going into their um to their home leg I think it's starting on Wednesday yeah them their home leg starting on Wednesday and then they knock then the finals and thing in home leg um in, in Guyana sorry yeah so you're on top of Guyana by points they have a better net run rate and they have home games in hand so but we just need to get it up too and we go be good you know get an extra game just in case uh one guy and I win anyway, are we happy one guy and I win anyway, just keep on until they understand to say curry chicken they would, they would never win that CPL um but I, I heard the vibes was nice down in the um in the brand Lara yesterday and um and, and sa on Sunday. I heard it because I was not there. Thanks to El Castro. Um Wells. Well, it had no no whole club football this weekend, it was an international break. And during that break, I right now I off. I rest our with sports, but right now, what I mean, in terms of the teams that are supporting, um, Germany fired their coach, um, Anzi Flick. Um, rightfully so, I, I would say. I don't mean anybody, no, no, I don't, I'm not glad that anybody lost their job, but we ain't doing well for a, for a good, a, 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 a good proper time. And the only teams that we really beaten under Flick is, you know, teams that are supposed to get. 13 and 10 and 10 which is like um you know san marino and them kind of team they're the only teams we really beat them um yeah so germany lost 4-1 to japan at home that was embarrassing so that was it for anti flick um well i see messi save argentina in 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 world cup qualifying trinidad anger save boy anger save drop molino after molino retire oh well, you know, retire after you get dropped one or thirty two. And we win two games back to back. Um we we won one nil against Curacao and then three two against El Salvador. So I guess and all them parties of the team was a good move by Angasiv. But he also had to be a little um a little uh, you know show less favoritism. All these ex players and all them carnage players who be forcing on the team. Um yeah, 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 like I sure, yeah, so, you know, he's a good coach, you know, he doesn't work out for him, but, um, I think, well, he was, he was stubborn, he, he fall victim to what most football coaches is be a little stubborn, like, he keep playing the same player, same type of team, he playing, yeah, again, he ain't trying to reinvent himself, because, like, what he want to do, them, some of them players, ain't really have it, and then, I think Germany had to get some, uh, uh, I don't know, is he, where's he, shape, but they get a kind of, reinventive shape that not only have words i think i'll get to that half words point just now man but i think germany missing real we will call like staple type players like players i think everybody so germany no striker a full crumb is the best striker that i have right now and he injured we had no proper um holding midfielder do tell me kimmich neither goretzka both of them are it's at the best Kimmich can play a six but not as a as a um as a like a canty role he's not really that kind of thing you know he's he will give you a, he will he will give like a, a say he's a more proper eight for me and and, and you see um we need to go say the same thing that the, that um band we do have a, a actual six and 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 the gfx and and kimmich we can't talk bad about kimmich too eh? yeah so 
I think Germany missing certain like traditional staple kind of players in positions positions so I say they don't have a striker, they don't have a proper they don't have a proper defensive midfielder. So we had to get kinda so we had to get people who are doing different things. Go Negan, Kimmich, Goretzka, no matter how you mix that midfield, it's not working. Yeah. Yeah, I'm um, close, eh? Gomez, yeah, them going so. Full camera is a striker, yeah, but. One, I uh, say Flick was stubborn. He hardly played, he used to play him only when the desperate for a goal. And two, he's not like a household name that. I mean, probably had a game chance, eh? but you know, like, not like. Like close and, and Gomez, especially close, you know his bag of goals, even for those key. You know his bag, you know his goals when the when the, um when them come on the field for Jimmy, you know boy. Even if they're not playing good in the in the club level. Um so yeah, I don't know. Germany one and, and then I know and I say they need to probably look beyond the, the, the traditional names because Alright. Kimmich that although I do although I say them that midfield in cutting it, you can't really drop the three names I call, right? But if I'm men getting constantly picked like Gomez and do nothing for a while. Not Gomez, um, Goshens. And he gave me one of the goals in the last game. Um, Julian Branton do nothing for a while. He's still getting picked. Um, some of the wing backs. But I see the, um, this one who played for, for West Ham, however. Um, Schlotterback. I ain't really too sure about him either. So I don't really do nothing wrong, but he don't really do nothing right. So I don't only only good defender in my opinion is freaking is is really good. Like like when I mean I like, good defender like I've sure start any defense. So yeah, what are you saying eh? Hansi Flick won the Champions League with Bayern with Kimmich and Goretzka in the midfield with Thiago. Yeah, but that is true, but. He was getting high pressing from the front men. I don't know for what reason or the other. Gonna get that same pressing from Sani and Ganabri. Right now Ganabri out of four I find for like over a year for Bayern and for Germany still getting picked. Um Yeah. You see decent they say, not not that was saying that not, not not elite. And I was saying like so you see them regulars. So right now I find Germany some like England like once you make the team, you're getting picked for the next game or the next call up for sure. So like a man who is not a favorite or not a household name, if you're doing well, you're still getting picked. Or even if you get picked, you're getting to play. Um, to the Havertz point, now, I don't want to defend Havertz too much because he played for Arsenal. But, in my opinion, Chelsea use Havertz wrong. Arsenal using them wrong, Germany using them wrong. Havertz, because, and he literally is a unicorn, because the man could play as a 8 on the wing, as a 10, as a 9. You can't just chuck him in one of them positions and leave him. He won the freedom to do all of them thing all those things at once well, not at once but you know what i mean in one game right so to take up those positions something like what mola does do well used to do for bayern you know what i mean i say used to because mostly i kind of take that 10 rule but when mola playing that 10 rule for bayern he popping up all over the place he popping up in the midfield he popping up by he popping up, and you can't really track him and that is what have us want to do yes he can play as a nine but he do want to play with the back to goal and he didn't really have the physical to, to be fighting up with them big strong defenders every time. Plus, if nobody not around him, he's not a hold up striker and that what Chelsea was doing him. Arsenal, he's not an out and out eight, so he don't, he, again, is an ex-physicality to be fighting up in that midfield. Up and down, up and down. He don't want to do that constantly. He want to be driving with the ball, creating plays, you know. And if you watch what he used to do for Leverkusen, he used to be, and then well, Leverkusen is the best player, so he used to have a kind of free role. So, everybody, because he could play in well, four positions, everybody 
But he was, his style was always lazy. He have a kind of Bobotov style. Like he runny, he's look lazy. But I don't think he lazy. He's just he, he confidence low, in my opinion. So I, I, my, my thing is that because he can play as a nine, Chelsea play him as a nine strictly. Because he can play as a eight, well, Germany doing the same thing as well. Because he can play as a eight. Germany, um, Arsenal chucking him at that 8 only. He want to be... Yeah, exactly. Because he and Ole, see what Ole Gard was doing for Arsenal last year where he was, sometimes he was part of a tree with, um, oh God, remember them fellas name? Sh um, Xhaka and, and Party. And then sometimes he go pull out wide. He never used to pull out left mostly, but sometimes he go pull out wide and let Saka cut inside. Or sometimes he go be as a 10. That is what Havos want to do. And I think if Havos get the opportunity to play that kind of role Olegard was playing last year, he better than Olegard. In terms of he creativity. Olegard is a good player. Olegard might be more mature, more like I'm more of a bigger, a better football brain, but in terms of skill wise, Havos better than him. So what I thought, well, I don't know, they, I don't know, they wasn't going to do that. But what will help Arsenal is if they somehow they get to rotate them and play the same way they were playing last year. And if you if you rest Olegard, you ain't gonna really lose nothing because have was playing the similar a similar way. But as I say, he have the attributes of eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is a winger. But he's not one of those things. He's all of them. And when you're forcing him to play one role alone, that is the problem that everybody having. Right? So that is my take on Havertz. I, I don't think he is personally a bad player. I just think people playing him bad because he's so good that he's making it bad for himself now, boy. In terms of like, because he, he can do all those different things, the pigeon holding him in, in certain positions, and that is what making him look bad because they want him to do specific things and he is not a specific player he's a unicorn um in other news other football new international football news neymar passed pele in goals for in goals for um, brazil which is a big feat big up neymar big up me neymar fans or the saudi league fans but um People get in wild and they're trying to, you know, you know, that's everything is polarized and they're trying to say that, you know, the one if Neymar in category of one of the Brazil one of Brazil's greatest, which I don't think he is. He's one of Brazil's most skillful players, but in terms of how we career went, he's not one of the greatest. He's more than the most talented ever to come out of Brazil, but not one of the greatest. Not top five, surely not top five. Maybe top ten. I don't know. I'm not really a Brazil fan per se, but I think you know what you need is Brazil fans by default, you gotta follow Brazil football. Um and something to take into consideration, he played more games than than Pele. You know, so big up Neymar same way. Um Yeah, so it has some games that Um playing tomorrow and uh, I think Wednesday but club football is back this weekend coming up here so thank God because I doesn't I don't I don't understand the international breaks. I find like after the season finish just take a month, play all the qualifiers and done and just give him an amount of rest. Let them go back over pre season this the, the club football now start what four games in, three games in for some leagues and then you're gone international football so like them players who play in Europe and from South America them traveling what kind of 12 hours boy and then when they come back it's 12 hours again so imagine if you have a game Friday coming up here that's real pain for you boy so these international breaks don't make no sense to me and, and uh, I say we talk and I just now before I move on from there I say we are looking like England why how so get in see what yet boy how do you but I ain't get monetized yet so I could cuss how the fuck? Oh, oh, you could start. Are you? How oh, Maguire won? How oh, Maguire and, and Henderson making an England team one? And two, how them starting, boy? 
how Maguire and Henderson starting for you, boy? How how Southgate and he mind find that right, boy? You have Rashford on the bench and have um Bellingham playing on left wing. Mad? Are you mad? Fam, are you mad? Okay. I'm a top boy more these days, so are you mad? Um, we need that youth from, from Man City. Start of the season, nice. Well, I mean, he accustomed getting bench and pepper. Four then. Four then on the bench. Are you mad? How, how Calvin Phillips make it? How Calvin Phillips can play a game. I could, I, if, if Calvin Phillips could make England team, I could make Trinidad team, though. Calvin Phillips can play a minute for the season, boy. How you making a team? So get this a caca old boy. Um Yeah, Colwell's supposed to start. Dan Burn is a bigger defender than any other England defender. That's, well Yes, right now Dan Burn better than Gurry. You know because Gurry come from Chelsea. Timori. Now I like Timori, but Timori if you have somebody a little more stable than him, I wouldn't play Timori. I might play with a Dan Burn maybe, but not with Colwell because Two of them young, got them more really erratic at all times. But come to Mori and he get picked because of backlash in the media. But to Mori and England, English players on the whole, only because it's Kane, Kane and go get that kind of bias there. But hey, when he's an English player not playing in the Premier League, especially black too, that would be pain for, for them. Um, it could be a hard time for, for Loftus Street, no matter how. But if Anderson getting picked and he playing in the fucking Saudi League, though. It could be a tough time for Lofta Shika and them to get anything. <laughs> because they're not playing in England. Yeah, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a better defender by like Dan Burnham. Um, and Colwell, I say. Fucking Maguire. Maguire and fucking Henderson, you know. Yeah, boy, so I don't know. So. And he keep any work, eh? He keep any work, but. Hansi Flick, yeah, for <laughs> And Hansi Flick have a, be, have a bigger. Um, Resume Danny. Do more things in your career. But that's how it is. That's how the thing go. Um Yeah, so big up everybody who tap in the live. Even if you're tapping and tap out, we still appreciate it. So big up um Big up tank. Tank a tank. Same way. Um Big up Pompey. Big up Where is this? Ski, Ski, Will, Sky, Will, I ain't sure how to pronounce that. Um, yeah, boy, so that is it for international football, as I say. Um, club football coming back weekend here, yeah, so. Thank God, well, hopefully, because Chelsea are back in these days, so. Well, not these days, but Chelsea are back in, so. Germany ain't helped me out at all. Um, yeah, so. Club football is back, and on that note, and also on the Brazil note, um, yeah, some man you might never see him. I see Anthony get suspended for the domestic violence thing, um, case charges. So, I believe some evidence must come out. Well, I don't know he, madam, did, um, did put a statement and think, but man, you suspend him. And last game they did finish the game with Maguire and, and what his name is Evans. So, I don't know. I think Amrabat might be fit, but he get injured on international duty. Amrabat, uh, Mount, and somebody else supposed to be fit for them, so they might have a team. But um, yeah, Anthony, Anthony, how he get suspended? Also in Manu news, everybody studying Chelsea and Bowley and and amortization. Uh, that's now. That's now. Before I move on. I prefer Bale career. Yeah, well, now I'm not ducking it. I got a little tap in, you know. I can't, I'm not speaking to a Just remind me, yeah. I, duck, I prefer Bale career over Neymar. Um, yeah. Nah, but Neymar. I say Neymar is not top five Brazilians all over time. My top five Brazilians. If I could take it over on top of my head, boy. Pele. Fatron, well, R9. Ronaldinho, Romario, and I will say Cafu. I was going to say Rivaldo, but I will say Cafu. Because Cafu kind of 
was one of the godfathers of the bombing wing back and as a captain two for Brazil I might get a full top five but the top four I don't think the top four two not too much you can deny that top four I don't call it um yeah Bill nah I go get revival with revival just for skill what we go do you go disrespect Kafka like that boy yeah, when I night top five, you know, let's let's get top five in the comments, um, Kadim, um, and anybody else who's only Brazil top five, all time, um, yeah, I go get Bill Carey, who got Bill have uh, like five Champions League, and he played for Wales, Carey Wales at World Cup, which is a big feat. So yeah, I go get Bill Carey over Neymar own. Neymar could have been, you now we see, you know, he wanted to be the man and end up still not being the man. So yeah, so in terms of career, especially like in um, club football, club football, why is it bail over, bail over um, Neymar for sure. So could he say Brazil top 5 is going to be your Pele, Pele um, R9, Pele R9. Dino, Romario, Rivalo. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Five. That's fine. Kafu. Kafu need to get some, some more respect. But I can't fight the Rivalo. Because Rivalo kind of was one of my favorite players at that time. I see Rivalo set up his self on a bicycle in that game. So I, 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 I ain't strong on the Rivalo. That's fine. Kafu. Then he, you know, Kafu needs some respect on him. For his leadership and for basically. Let's like how it have a Kante role, which was formerly a. Makalele role, that modern wing back role, in my opinion, at least from when I remember, you know, football, from when I remember football, that wing back, that modern wing back, Kafu is the godfather, that's in my opinion. Or they can correct me if I'm wrong, you know, shake free, feel free to share all your views on that. Um, yeah, so in the Manu news, as I was saying, Manu reported 1 billion. Dollars, well, I believe it's pounds, but let me say dollars for now. In debt, in debt. Now, all this study in Chelsea and Bully and I'm authorization and how much you know the windows, but um, billion pounds in debt, a billion dollars in debt. I don't know if it's pounds or dollars, but hey, so say anything once say answer a billion, it could be yen, billion that is plenty money, dog. And I just feel sorry for my new fans, but at the same time, I enjoy the demise because most of them still in humbling themselves, they're still living off of the Fergie years. And if you're realistic, if you're real, even in Fergie time, at that, and like, if you go up and down the 11, my new teams were shit, but Fergie was just good to get the best out of them in. But, um, yeah, a billion dollars in debt. So, so, um, man, you fans, I don't know, uh, I don't think it, 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 um, I don't think it, it's a bright fall in the, in the foreseeable future because them Glazers ain't like that they're going nowhere to take the team off of the arm. They take the team off of the market, they're no longer for sale. Um, yeah, and them just, Like how to put it boy, they're, they're, they're just paying as much as they could put, pay. You know, before the banks try to get back the money that they owe them. And I owe them, they're just living off our debt boy. And not all the own debt, eh, the club debt. So, man, your fans, paying for them boy. But I'm happy. <laughs> um, big up Randall, just joining the live. Big up yourself, Randall. Um, so let me go, let me see, before we go, let me get into the, let me see where's the big, where's the big, um, games coming up, uh, up, um, this weekend, all the notes, uh, all the marquee games in the different leagues, um, so starting with the Premier League, um, and any big games, I man, you playing Brighton, that's supposed to be a good game, um, Saturday, <laughs> um, thankfully the Premier League used the sense that no game Friday, so, Man, you playing Brighton Saturday, 10 o'clock in Old Trafford. So that will be an interesting game. 
But Brighton ain't looking bad. The start of the season very good actually. Manu, little shaky plus with all the um, with all the woes, injuries and otherwise. So we will see how that game go. Big up Levi joining the live. Another Chelsea man. Well, yeah, a Chelsea man. Um, Newcastle, Brentford. That's supposed to be a good game as well. Um, Newcastle, Brentford because Brentford start of the season as well. Newcastle are looking bad, but they get some poor results. Although they get some difficult, difficult opening round of fixtures. So hopefully they could bounce back at St James Park. Um, at top of the, at top of the table clash as well. Ten o'clock. Where the Newcastle Brentford game that is the late game on Saturday I am half twelve. Um ten o'clock as well at the top of the table clash. West Ham versus Man City. West Ham versus Man City at um the London Stadium. So you see where um, if West Ham if West Ham if West Ham could play that same strategy against City. You know, so long and soak up pressure. Uh, for the Chelsea fans, for the Chelsea fans, we play in Bournemouth away. We play in Bournemouth away. Right? Um, yeah, so. We're going to La Liga. La Liga is going to no big matchup. If I tell you, La Liga fans are going to get watch any fixtures. There's really nothing looking that jumping out at you. Um, in Syria, uh, top of the table clash, which is a Milan derby. Inter Milan playing. Um, well, obviously, AC Milan. So that will be a, that's that's supposed to be a good a good game. Um, that is on Saturday at three p.m. No, yeah, that's not no. Sorry, that's not league. I think shit not there. Yeah, it's Saturday midday. Yeah, Saturday midday. Uh, Milan derby. Um. Well, is there anything else in Syria that are jumping out? Yeah, nothing really. Um, Friday in the Bundesliga. Big, big game Friday in the Bundesliga. Bayern Munich top of the table cash. Bayern Munich, I think two of them unbeaten. Um, yeah. Bayern Munich playing. Ba Bayer Leverkusen. I know all the time I used to say Bayern Leverkusen and Bayer. Yeah, so Bayern playing Bayer. Um, Javi Alonso coaching Bayern, and I think so. Only oh, remind me, yeah, by there. So that will be at that. Um, yeah, that game would be half past two, yeah, half past two our time from Friday. So that's supposed to be a good game as well, yeah. Yeah, that do you think jumping out of men in, 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 in the bonus? You guys can call out all them. Unnecessary games. Um, in the CPL, TKR playing Saturday again, quite Saturday. But we gotta keep up with the, with the Guyana games because Guyana, um, you know, the, the, if they win all the games, obviously they will pass it. So we gotta keep up with the Guyana games. The Guyana playing Wednesday, Thursday. And then they're playing Saturday again against the care as I mentioned. And then Guyana playing Sunday again. So we only have one more game to play, which is Guyana. Well in the in the in the um in the league format. Right? Um we up Cur Genesis to join the live as well. Um Yeah, so I think that is it. Um anything else you want to touch up? Happy now, comment now, and we will do where we go, we go, we will discuss it. If not, thanks to everyone who took the time to join the live tonight. Um, every Monday, and for the new, for the new members, the new, you know, the new fans in the fan stand. This is the Caribbean fan stand where we come meet, come up in the stand. And discuss everything sports, you know. We discuss the favorite sports, the favorite teams. We talk about the rivals. You know, share your views on various topics of sports. 
we live by the Premier League and to football, but any sport that um trending, any competition that trending, we will try to talk about it. If I miss anything, as I say, feel free to tap in. This is not my stand, this is the fan stand for all fans. You know, just have to be respectful as best as possible to the rival teams and, and, and people with different views. But yeah, feel free to tap in the live. If not, if you're a little if you're a little shy to the camera, hit up your comments in the um in in the comment section and I'll and I'll be I'll you know share your comments with the rest of fans. If you are unable and you're watching the you're watching the video after it has been posted on Instagram and also on YouTube, but we try, you know, we focusing on Instagram, but we just, you know, we, we, we putting it out as, on as much mediums as possible, but the, the fans stand kind of focusing it more on Instagram and TikTok when I sort out that TikTok live or I try to do a simultaneous live on your next device. So anybody, um, yeah, I don't know if you want to, if you want to, um, link our next iPhone 14, you know, you know, you have to do. You know, you, you know, you get the first one. <laughs> um, you know, feel free. Or if somebody want to donate to the fan stand, feel free. Uh, you know, so we could do a simultaneous live. But yeah, so if you, if you, if you was unable to join in live and you're watching this after it uploaded, feel free to comment in the, to, to share your views in the comment section. And we will discuss it next week. So, yeah, so again, as we said in the top, if you're not following with any shit on Instagram, do so after we come off your live. If you're not following us on TikTok, do so after we come off your live. Especially on TikTok, you will love the content. Everything with, with any shit is get to, you know, pass smile on your face and also get a perspective of, of the people on the ground. So that's where the fans are. Instead of listening to the pundits and bias pundits like Gary Neville and, and them other people and, and anything anything with American sports, you know, this is the medium for you the fans, for us the fans to share our views. And same thing with the with the podcast and all the content that yeah, that is brought to you by Wood and Shit is to pass man in the face and to get the point of views of the people on the ground. Right? So follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok, like up the page, like up the content, share the content, share the page with your friends and then go follow it up. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Check out the uh, the first episode of season two with myself and Randall. Wood and shoot the podcast. Um we talk about Randall boy. Uh we talk about the Caribbean Music Awards, we talk about female objectification in many instances by said females um randall discuss about if he would give kes the beat if kes asked him for the beat if you would give him it so if you want to know the answer to that go check out go check out the um the the latest episode episode one of season two with any shit out now on youtube go check it out subscribe to the page you can also get the audio version or the only version on um, Spotify and Anchor by Spotify and all other podcasting, major podcasting platforms. Right? So, until Sunday for Wood and Shit and until Monday for the Caribbean Fan Stand, my name is Wood. And until next time, keep your ears on the ground and we go get the wood out. <laughs>